The first stadium we're going to look at is the Superior Dome. This is a Division II college football stadium located in Marquette, Michigan. It's the home of the Northern Michigan Wildcats football team, as well as the women's lacrosse team and the women's track and field. Obviously, due to the location, it was smart to have a dome because of the cold temperatures and the snow that the area gets. The stadium opened in 1991 and costed $23.9 million and has a capacity of 8,000. The dome has a very unique look from both the inside and out, and it opened as the largest wooden dome in the world. When you look up at the ceiling, you can see how it's wood, and from the outside, it looks very interesting as well. This is one of the stranger stadiums in America. Next is Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field is the home of the Chicago Cubs in Major League Baseball. It's the second oldest current stadium, behind only Fenway Park in Boston. The field opened back in 1914 and has many interesting features. One of the most well-known is the outfield wall being brick with ivy growing on it. Sometimes baseballs get lost in it. This can also be painful if an outfielder crashes into the wall because most walls are padded. Because the park is so old, there are some strange and restricted views. Wrigley Field has been renovated, but it's mostly the same as it's always been. It was the last MLB field to receive lights, which only happened in 1988. Before that, all games had to be played during the day. Because of the neighborhood that Wrigley Field is in, they also have a limit of the number of night games that they can have per season. This causes them to have a lot of Friday day games at home. Assembly Hall is the home of the Indiana University basketball team. The arena opened in 1971 and has a capacity of over 17,000. The building looks interesting on the outside, but that's nothing compared to the inside of it. The seating on the sides of it seems to go up forever. Meanwhile, at the ends, you can see the walls on both sides. There aren't many other basketball arenas like it. The large amount of fans that it can hold also makes it one of the loudest places to play when it's full. The arena is located in Bloomington, Indiana. Up next is the Oakland Coliseum. Currently, the Oakland Coliseum is the home of the Oakland Athletics in Major League Baseball. Previously, though, it was also home to the Oakland Raiders, who have since moved to Las Vegas. The A's are said to be moving to Las Vegas as well, but in the meantime, they're still playing here. The stadium first opened back in 1966. It was opened as a multi-use facility, meaning it would be used for both football and baseball. The way that it was set up caused the infield of the baseball diamond to go right across the center of the football field. The football players would go right over the dirt. For baseball, this caused a very large amount of foul ground. The stadium has also been criticized for having problems, like plumbing issues and families of possums living inside of it. They also have been known to have many unused seats, and overall, this stadium is one of the stranger ones. At Syracuse University in Syracuse, New York, there's JMA Wireless Dome. The first really strange thing is the location of the dome itself. It looks very odd right in the middle of campus. Inside of it, depending on what sport it's used for, it can look really weird. Large domes like this are not seen very often anymore in general. This one is used for the football team, the basketball team, and the lacrosse team. The most normal setting is for football, but for basketball, it looks really weird because of all the extra space. The good part of it is that it can hold an extremely large amount of fans. The capacity for football is over 49,000, and for basketball, it's an insane 33,000. Because of this, they've broken several attendance records, and it's a very loud place to play. The stadium opened in 1980. Up next is Holt Arena, is in Pocatello, Idaho, and the home of the Idaho State University football team. From the outside, the stadium looks really strange. The curved design is cool, and the location of the stadium seems to be in the middle of nowhere. Moving inside, the curved ceiling and walls at the ends of the end zones are also pretty odd. The main use for the facility is football, but it can be used for other events as well. It opened in 1970 and has a capacity of 12,000. Williams Arena is next. This is the home of the Minnesota Golden Gophers basketball team. It's located in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The arena first opened in 1928 and has a capacity of over 14,000. Like many old stadiums, there are some seats with obstructed views. The other strange thing about this arena is how it looks like an airplane hanger from the inside, and the floors of the basketball court are also raised up from the benches, which can be a bit of a hazard. The Alamo Dome has been home to many sporting events over the years. Located in San Antonio, Texas, the facility opened in 1993. 
The capacity is about 64,000, and when it first opened, it was actually home to the San Antonio Spurs of the NBA. The arena looked quite strange, but the Spurs played there for 10 seasons until 2002. The stadium has also been used for the Alamo Bowl, the University of Texas San Antonio, who currently still call it home, and several XFL teams. Other teams have called it a temporary home, such as the New Orleans Saints, and the Texas Rangers even played an exhibition game there. It's also been used for many high school football games. Overall, depending on the sport, the stadium can look very strange, but it's one of the best multi-purpose stadiums in the country. FedEx Field is currently the home of the Washington Commanders of the NFL. The stadium has been widely criticized for problems like plumbing issues and the railing failure of 22. The stadium is strange for those reasons as well as others. It first opened back in 1997, so it really isn't that old. However, it's been renovated and expanded several times. There have been unused seating areas as well as obstructed views from certain seats. The stadium capacity has been changed a whopping eight times and it currently stands at 62,000. Finally, we will look at Fenway Park. This is the oldest current active stadium in Major League Baseball. It's the home of the Boston Red Sox as it has been since it opened back in 1912. It's also been home to several NFL teams back from the 1920s to the 1960s. There are many things that make Fenway Park strange. One is the seats with weird angles or obstructed views. Another is the odd outfield dimensions, with the right field foul pole being so close and the wall curving back. The stadium is also built on a smaller area of land than many other ballparks. The Green Monster is probably the most well-known quirk of the stadium though. It's a 37-foot high wall in left field, which separates the stadium from the street behind it. The wall has a manually operated scoreboard in it, and you can also go inside the Green Monster or sit on top of it. Currently, the capacity of Fenway Park is a little over 37,000. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.